and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, here we go. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about the number one sign you're about to have a stroke in the next 12 months. Plus, we're going to go over risk factors for a stroke. Very important stuff, so you want to listen to this. That's right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And it's your lucky day if you happen upon us today because today we are doing a giveaway contest for a sleepovation mattress. Just right. go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section. You can sign up there. You can also sign up on Facebook, Bob and Brad. Mm -hmm. Want a short version of us, go to Instagram and Twitter. We got a 60-second version of our program every day. This mattress, we really like it because it really offers pain relief, uh, especially if you're having like shoulder, neck, back, or hip pain, maybe right. knee pain. They're just very comfortable besides, Bob. That's yeah, even if you don't have pain. They also have pillows right. that have the same uh, design with the little mattresses, if you will, with springs in it and a pillow. That's a half of one. This is what they actually look like. Yeah, and we're doing a giveaway of a couple of pillows, too. We're giving away everything. We're giving yeah. away the house. Well, not well, my not house. The, not, not at your house. Yeah, Okay. Let's move on, Brad. Okay, so we, I have a, a personal experience with this. This actually happened to my father-in-law. So what we're talking about, the number one sign is, is if you have a TIA, uh, and that's a transient ischemic attack, what they're also known as. Mini strokes. Yeah, like it's a, like a mini stroke. It's, it's a warning. So one out of three who have a TIA actually end up having a stroke in the year following. And you can actually have a mini stroke, have the symptoms and recover for it all within minutes yeah. and, and not even know you've had it unless you're familiar with the symptoms. So you're gonna have numbness or tingling, one-sided problems, right side or left, uh, facial droop, possibly speech problems, but it takes care of itself and then you go back to normal and you think, oh, well. Yeah, you go further on that, you might have blurriness in one eye sure. or d a double vision. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have dizziness or decreased coordination, right. like something, something is suddenly not right. working. Or you might have a sudden severe headache, that sure. if you, especially if you're not nor one that normally gets one. Right. So can be, uh, you know, generally people I think that have a TIA know that something's not right because yeah. it's, it's pretty severe. I, I misstated that a little bit, Brad. In the year after, about half of the, the one out of three who have a uh, had a TIA had a stroke, but half of them had, had it in the year after. So one out of three had a stroke. Okay. But some of them may have been two years after. Oh, I you see. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so it's about, if, if you do the numbers, it's about 15 to 17% yeah. had it in the next year. So if you had so, those kind of symptoms, don't ignore them. Go to the doctor, and they can start putting you on some potential. So I got to tell the story. Oh, so yeah. my father-in-law, um, this happened to him when he was alive. He, he ended up having, we were right there. Um, it was a, a kind of a, a family gathering. You witnessed the TIA. I witnessed, okay. and I, I said, I said, I think you had a TIA. And we, we obviously, we took him into the hospital, and they believed he had one too. Mm -hmm. His blood pressure was way out of control. Mm -hmm. His cholesterol was way off the charts. Right. And uh, he smoked at that time. Sure. And I sat down with him. I had to talk, even though I was the son-in-law. <laughs> yeah. I felt like it was my place. Sure. Well, and you're I, the professional. Well, and I said, you know, you got a warning shot here, Brett. Uh, Brett. <laughs> so, <laughs> John, you. I said, you, I mean, you, you know, you got a chance at, at uh, uh, not having a stroke here by taking control of your life. So uh, he smoked at the time, and I give him credit. He stopped smoking right sure. at that time. He did. It. He has passed away since, but not from a stroke. Okay. So, mm -hmm. but I, I'm going to make a recommendation for a book. I've, I've seen this one recommended a number of times now. It seems like if there's any one book that's going to work for helping you stop smoking, it's this one by Alan Carr. Helped uh, apparently millions of people stop smoking. Alan Carr's Quit Smoking Without Willpower. Um, just as a testimony on the top here, it says, if you want to quit, if you want to quit, it's called The Easy Way by Ellen DeGeneres. So she's um, a big advocate of this, too. Sure. So, so And uh, you can get that. We've got that in our favorite book section. And uh, Yeah, below. well, Mike will put a link to it below, below. So, All right, so these are some of the risk factors that are going to put you at sure. risk for a TIA or a stroke. If your blood pressure is out of control, you know, mm -hmm. if you're one of those people that thinks, ah, oh, you know, I don't need to to deal with medications or diet or anything sure. like that or lifestyle adjustments think again 
you want to get that blood pressure into a, a range that is acceptable. Right, right. So, number two, your blood sugars are high, um, especially with uncontrolled uh, diabetes. That can damage the blood vessels, which could cause Oh, sure, strokes. you get the... So, yeah, the stroke, for people who don't know, it's either a blood vessel in your brain ruptures open Burst, or yeah. it gets plugged up. Yeah. Typically, they get plugged up, I believe, is more common it is. than the... Uh, that's why they can do the TPA or the, the, the treatment right away. That, and by the way, that's why it's very key if you have symptoms like this to get to the hospital immediately because they can mm. offer, offer a medication that can actually reverse the symptoms. Um, if, if big you, difference yeah, on the recovery. Yeah, big difference. I mean, mm. I, I've seen people that it literally it seemed like they didn't even have a stroke. Yep. Um, so a good friend of mine. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah he, they got him in right away and... They administered sure. it, and, and to this day, you can't even see now that he had it. Um, if you smoked, like the one I, I talked about with uh, my my, my father-in-law, um, yep. it's one of the highest risk factors. But if you quit, it actually can reverse over time. You know, the, the, the bad symptoms and signs can reverse over time if you stop smoking. It's almost like you never smoked at all if, yeah. you, if you quit long enough. So one nice thing about smoking is you can quit and yeah. it can reverse. Yeah, so we should have smoked in our early years and then we could have quit. No, no, of course not. Uh, number four, uh, high cholesterol. Um, you want to have optimal levels. Um, I think it's below 100 for your LDL, above 50 for your HDL, below 200 over your total. They'll, they'll let you know. They'll let you know. <laughs> you sure. Triglycerides have to be one below 150. And number five, obesity. Um, weight loss occurs. And I just wanted to put this in here, Brad, because mm, a know, lot of people think that you lose weight by exercising. Right. Yes, you can lose some weight, but the really the main way to lose weight is with diet. Right. Yeah. You, you, you lose weight at the table and you gain strength at the gym. Right. You know, that's the, right. the way to think about it. Some, you know, some, I guess you could say, like, supposedly, I think it was Coke or Pepsi, they they were putting out advertisements saying that the reason you're gaining weight is because you're not being active enough. And they don't want to blame the sugar drinks for it. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah. And so what they do instead is they blame that you're not being active enough. And it's really, no, if you drank maybe less sugar drinks and 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 less fatty foods, you, you might, be, might do a lot better. We both know people who are extremely active. Yeah. not They're not obese, but... Yeah, they can't get their weight down. Yeah, and it's just because pizzas and yeah. sugar stuff. And, you know, I used to do it myself. Yeah. That's fun, you know. You go work out hard and then go have a big pizza. You, you, you could, think you deserve you it. You thought you could eat what you want, and that's just not how yeah, it works, Especially as you get older. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there's a little less cheating going on there. So. Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody, for watching. Enjoy.